Now, when asked what private jet you want to fly at least once in your life, like what jet is on your bucket list, most people will say, you know, the G6, maybe a Learjet, maybe Sam Chu 747, maybe the 727 by Jeffrey Epps. But I would surely choose this airplane right here. Zoom out, zoom out. It's a little weird looking. It's a little goofy. It is, of course, the Piaggio Avanti. Yes, the Italian company that's famous for making the Vespas, the scooters, is also still making private jets. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I think the private jet market is so overcrowded. There are so many that do the same thing, and it's important to stand out. And this plane has been standing out for the past 40 years. It's been manufactured since 1986, and not too many of them are flying around, only 246. This airplane is a very seldom to see in the skies. I've only ever seen it once in my entire lifetime, but at least they're still being manufactured. You know, you can still buy this airplane. This add-on right here for the Microsoft Flight Simulator that we're going to take a look at today is very old. It has a very old steam cockpit. The modern Piaggios, the Evo series, are, you know, a lot better. This add-on indeed, though, is very old. Let me try to start it up. Right. Battery master switch on. Good. Avionics on. Inverter on. Stuff like that. Bleed air off. Ignition start. Come on, engines. Run. Yeah, igniter. Come on. Get some prop. Yeah. Yes, and the left engine is starting up. Now, this is a turboprop engine, and it stopped starting up. This airplane is known as being fast. I mean, Avanti means fast in Italian. In fact, it's listed as the fastest propeller-driven aircraft with a speed of 927 uh, kilometers per hour, 500 knots ground speed, and that's because of the very strong, powerful turboprop engines that are set up in a pusher configuration. They push the airplane from behind and make it insanely fast. Ah, uh, come on, engine start up. Come on. Yes. Oh, fuel's turned off. That's why. Oh, wait. Yes, see this. And so this airplane is almost as fast as a jet, pretty much, while using nearly 30% less fuel. And also, it's really cool, but it's a little weird looking. I mean, just look at the double wing design. We have our forward wing, which is needed, because if it wasn't here, the plane would obviously be way too nose heavy. It's an interesting choice of design to place the wing as far back as they did, but it makes sense. It causes us to have a very nicely spacious cabin because there is no wing in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and close the doors here, which we can do this way and get some prop in here. Come on. Now, Sir Avanti, I would quite like to see your performance. So let's go ahead and start taxiing with this airplane. You can see the forward wing has a flap surface, which is out now, and we've crashed into a hangar. Womp womp. Uh, flaps are set to half. That is good. Now, I expect perfect runway performance with those very, very thrusty turboprop engines. So come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Full power. Oh, wow. This is insane acceleration. <laughs> ah! All right, there you go. Already 808 eight knots. Already 100 knots. Very much no problem at all. Look at that. Airplane flies without any problems. And of course, the landing gear comes flush. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ, watch this add-on. That's a quick animation. I mean, just the landing gear looks a little bit dorky. There we go. Flaps up, though. And now this airplane looks like a flush fish. Like a genuine looks like something you could... Eat. Although I do have to say, this plane design, as it's very old, still looks very modern. Look at the sleek beauty of this, the Ferrari logo. Absolutely beautiful. Although, may, okay, maybe a fish. May, may, maybe a fish. Now, we are right here in the VIP variant, but for the flight simulator, we can also take a look at the packed variant, which is supposed to carry more passengers. Now, buongiorno, we right now have nine seats here. You know what I think this airplane would do very well for chartering? I mean, it can fly up to 41,000 feet, very nicely pressurized. The flaps look like they'll fall off any second. And it probably can land here at St. Bartholomew, no problem. Of course, we have reverse thrust on the on this plane, and we can fly down to 100 knots. So this shouldn't be, we're not very fast at all now. There you go. Look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Why isn't it stopped? We're, we're only getting faster now. Huh? I've done nothing wrong. Reversers were out. Everything was out. This is what? To be honest, I have a, a few doubts about the physics here. I mean, lots of air forces and police use this airplane to transport around people. Now, here we are at Genova Airport in Italy, which is Piaggio Aerospace Hub, their headquarters, and it's been for over 140 years now. That's pretty insane. Now, I'm still wondering about this front wing, where you can kind of describe this airplane as like a canard airplane. What if you got rid of it? Obviously, 
<laughs> this is absolutely stupid. We won't fly properly. First of all, we have a very, very low space wing. I guess the front wing is really required for this airplane to have lift. It's not that bad. I mean, I think stalling with this airplane will be pretty relaxed. But truly, what if we got rid of those? guys here we can simply do that in a failure menu it is the wing four so we remove the right wing four and the left wing four the x plane flight simulator removes these surfaces we can't see that right now let's take a look if this thing flies at all i mean this has never happened in real life good thing is the piaggio avanti has been relatively safe for the years although it is a single pilot airplane where you can imagine you know at least human errors to be quite common here not Okay, let's let me take a look. We are going fast now. 80 knots, something like that. 100 knots very soon. We've got... Why is the landing gear on fire now? That is very weird. <laughs> landing gear is on fire now. Okay, let's see if we can fly it all. Which is... Huh? Should not be possible. Uh, uh, what if we removed all the wings? Uh, well, what the hell is this flight simulator doing? All right, now all the wings are removed. The airplane still flies. Kind of. That was only a hard landing. Yes, I think what the Piaggio Avanti really deserves is a good flight simulator add -on. I mean, apparently the developer of Flight FX is, you know, making one, which is probably the Evo series, which is really cool. I mean, it has this modern cockpit, although I believe the company of Piaggio should make an upgrade there too. I mean, we have these old Collins screen. I mean, nowadays they're already old. They should upgrade to like a Garmin 3000, I mean, something like a serious vision jet or something. All right, but now I think it is time to engage in some testing activity. We're now flying over over Genoa, actually. And look at our speed and power. We're now at 42,000 feet. Definitely higher than the PC-12 could fly. Or even the Beechcraft King Air. Maybe a turboprop plane that you could kind of compare to this one. But look at our speed. We're at Mach 0.7. Without any wind, actually, by the way. This plane is an immensely fast airplane while still being a turboprop. I, I don't even know why. How did this possible? I mean, these engines must be super oversized for this fuselage. Absolutely magnificent. But of course, in order for this turboprop airplane to be approved, we need to be able to land it at the shortest runway in the world, say by airport. But in fact, we need to be able to land it at all. I mean, the last time was horrible. I guess we were a bit too fast. Although, as far as I know, the stall speed of this airplane is already around 100 knots. So, come on. Let's see. You should be able to do this. Reversers, full. But that only speeds up the airplane. Reversers do not work at all. Reversers are broken. Reversers make the whole thing worse. I mean, they are for sure on. Oh, man. All right, that definitely needs to be fixed. This airplane is almost impossible to land. Huh? Sorry, the goofy Piaggio Avanti. Maybe one day I'll be able to be on it. And I don't think you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.